OpenAI's ChatGPT is all the rage right now in the tech industry, and rightfully so. It's the most innovative piece of tech, if you want to call it that, in decades. And in my opinion, it's similar in nature to the invention of the internet, just in terms of how much potential and impact it'll have on the world, for good and for bad. Now, ChatGPT is an AI chatbot developed by OpenAI that uses very large language models to respond to text prompts that you give it. And that's probably the most simple way I can describe it. But it's the generative pre-trained transformer or GPT language model that is really the star of the show. And there are several versions of it, um, the latest of which is GPT-4, which can respond to both text and images and is reportedly about six times larger than GPT-3. And one of the many neat things about GPT is that companies can integrate it into their existing apps and services to improve the experience. And that's where we get into today's video, where I will be highlighting five GPT integrated AI apps for Android and iOS. It seems like every day there's a new app that adds support for GPT or chat GPT. So this will be part one of a multi-part series if there's enough interest in it. So please hit that like button down below if you want to see part two. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the very first app. First, we have Microsoft's Edge browser and specifically Bing Search. So consider this a two for one. Microsoft is OpenAI's biggest investor and is one of the first companies to integrate functionality into its products, starting with Bing, of course. So Bing has support for GPT-4 to help you write content, find answers, chat about things you're interested in, and so much more. And what's neat is you can choose a conversation style or personality that you want to go with. Uh, creative mode will produce more off-the-wall suggestions that really sort of test the limits of the AI, while precise will err on the side of caution and give you more accurate information. Balanced is probably the best of both worlds, but the dedicated Bing app is probably the best way to use ChatGPT on your mobile device, if you ask me. Now, if you want a new AI browser, then Microsoft has you covered with their new Edge browser with support for the new Bing and its AI features. They've integrated this into the browser so you can get search results as well as AI chatbot results. For example, you can say, I need to throw a dinner party for six people who are vegetarian. Please suggest a three course menu and a chocolate dessert. If you hit go, Bing will generate a meal for you with search results below. It's actually really, really cool. Another popular app that has been in the news for its chat GPT based AI assistant is Snapchat. They updated their app to add an AI that sits at the top of your chat messages. You can customize the Bitmoji for it. You can change their name. And then of course you can ask it all sorts of questions. I will say Snap did nerf a lot of its functionality so it doesn't get out of hand and start giving you like the nuclear codes but it's one of the most ambitious, far-reaching integrations that I've seen of this language model. Now, many parents are concerned that it's creepy and that they want their kids to stay away from the feature. There's also been examples of it going off the guardrails by saying things it probably shouldn't. We're definitely in the early days for this sort of thing. Notion is a schedule organizer slash to-do list app that's been going viral on TikTok for its various templates and robust feature set that has a pretty steep learning curve. The reason I'm including it in this video though is because it uses the GPT-3 API to bring AI suggestions into your Notion pages. So all you have to do is tap on the AI icon and then you can ask AI to write anything that you'd like. It can brainstorm ideas, help you create a blog post, um, outline social media posts, the list goes on and on and it'll generate some content for you based on whatever you give it. And then it'll uh, ask you if you wanna have it continue writing or make it longer or just, you know, you could tell AI what you'd like it to do next. It's really, really useful in this application, and it does a really superb job at creating headers, bullet points, and lists without you actually needing to tell it to. I think it's wonderful, and I highly recommend you check out Notion for this functionality. Expedia, the all-in-one travel companion, recently updated their app to include support for a GPT-powered chatbot that aims to help users plan a new trip. You'll see the chatbot is up front and center when you boot up the app for the first time. You can ask it to help you plan a trip to Iceland, for example, and it'll tell you all about the country, some popular attractions to check out, and local cuisines. You can ask it if there are hotels under $150 per night, and it'll give you a list of budget-friendly spots to check out. You can also say, what about gluten-free restaurants? And it'll not only know what you're talking about, but give you gluten-free restaurant options. As of now, the app can't plan an entire trip because it's been intentionally limited to help avoid any errors, but it has a ton of potential and will only get better, I'm sure. It's just, I think, a really neat way to utilize this language model. Last but not least, we have Pixel Cut AI Photo Editor. This is one of the best photo editors and graphic design apps on the App Store and the Play Store. 
And while it uses AI to remove unwanted objects and generate infinite product photos, they've integrated GPT into the app via a new feature called Magic Writer. This lets you generate product descriptions, Instagram hashtags and captions, taglines, welcome emails, thank you emails, and even a mission statement for your business. You know, just to give you an example, I'll say my company is called Gig Genie, and its key benefits is to help gig workers keep track of their expenses for tax purposes. If I hit generate, voila, it will spit out. Gig Genie is the ultimate tool for gig workers. It helps you keep track of your income and expenses for tax purposes so you can maximize your deductions and get the most out of your earnings. With easy to use features like blah, 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 you get the idea. That's just one example though. But overall, I think this could be very helpful for small businesses and influencers, and I can't wait to see what they come up with next. All right, with that last one, those are five of my favorite Android and iOS apps that have integrated OpenAI's GPT API into their applications. That's a little bit redundant, kind of a mouthful. You get the idea. These are just five GPT apps. There's more being updated each and every day. So if you wanna see part two, hit the like button down below and let me know in the comments as well. With that said, I'm BoHD from Slash.TV. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.